Greetings everyone, it's me, Blue Knight Productions, and I'm going to do a brief tutorial on indirect lighting, or some people call it clay lighting. So, open up your Max, and this is quick, about five minutes. Uh, you're going to make just a plane, and then just make whatever you want on top. Make a couple boxes or whatever, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to do mine real quick. Now, you don't have to do everything I'm doing. This is just for demonstration purposes, but you can if you want. It doesn't really matter. Okay. So now you got your scene set up. For when you're doing the clay modeling or clay shader, you mostly want everything to be white because it looks better. But you don't have to have everything white when you're actually modeling for real. You want to add your own colors. You can't do that. But when you're doing the clay modeling and direct illumination, it's usually white. Now. Um, the light we're going to use is the skylight, and you go on your top viewport and you just put it right on top in the middle, and then just drag it above the scene. Now, if you were to render it now, it would look really crappy, really, really crappy. So, what you do is you go to rendering, render setup, advanced lighting, and then go to light tracer. Now you can mess with these settings if you want. I may put the bounces up a little bit, but I don't really mess with the settings. And then when you render it, That's it, really. Now, if you want to mess with the settings to touch it up some, you can. I think to get rid of that fuzziness, I think it's the filter size and the radiate, the ray bias. Yeah, see, that's what it was. Uh, I assume the higher you put it, the better it'll look. So, that's basically it.